Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Sanya Faruqi Show. I am Sanya Faruqi, and joining us today for our Women for Press Freedom series, we have with us Nasreen Mohammed Ibrahim. She is chief editor of Bilan, Somalia's first ever all women media unit, which provides women a space where they can work with real decision making authority and fully free from harassment. The unit is staffed and managed entirely by women with full editorial independence and will produce stories for TV, radio, and online media. Bilan, which means bright and clean in Somali, is also funded by the United Nations Development Program and will be hosted inside the Dalsan Media Group offices in Mogadishu. Thank you, Nasreen, so much. It is truly wonderful to have you on the Sanya Faruqi show today. Uh, you're welcome, and thank you so much. Well, firstly, Nasreen, congratulations on setting up and leading Somalia's first ever all-women-run radio and television outlet. Tell us a little about how the idea to set Bilan came about, and also why was it important to make it entirely run by women? Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Bilan uh, program is the program uh, to produce in a lot of the packages, features, and some uh, information were related to uh, the uh, Somali uh, female. Uh, 80 percent will, will focus on a uh, woman issue like uh, rape and also uh, gender basic violence, domestic violence, something was related to that. Uh, while uh, 20 percent will focus on uh, the general issue uh, concerning our community, especially the Somali people. Uh, the idea from the UNDP team, because uh, uh, we see a lot of the gap uh, to have a woman issue. When it comes uh, the public radio is and the private radio is uh, to release it or broadcasting a woman issue, always they put him behind. For example, when they are suggesting or uh, broadcasting the news, the issue for the woman always behind of the news. For example, they add in uh, the, the back headline is, for example, a uh, seven headline or a uh, six headline putting the woman issues. Uh, always they like to promote the politicians and something was related economic in the private uh, radios. After we saw that gap, we decided uh, to create this platform. The billion media, the only media uh, work is the women and also producing uh, a lot of the program is because it's very important to our society and also it's very important to our community, especially Somali female. So what were the kind of challenges you faced while launching the network? Uh, what kind of obstacles did you overcome? Were you faced with any harassment or were there difficulties in launching the network? And also from your own experiences, um, what were the challenges you faced as a journalist being a woman reporting in Somalia? Uh, it's very difficult to be a woman reporting in Somalia because Somalia, we know uh, before uh, 30 years ago, uh, we strong, we disclosed everything and we are lost our strong government. Uh, recently, we are feeling better before past uh, five or uh, six years or six years also, eight years before now we are better than uh, side of the security is difficult sometimes to cover it, a lot of the information about the society. Sometimes it's hard uh, to report it. Something was related, a woman issue. For example, when the young woman has raped, it's difficult uh, to, to tell the people how the rape happened and what they feel in the victim is, especially the, the family of the uh, girl. Uh, when you say uh, the family, I want you to record your information and publi publishing and other society, they are refusing because of the, the stereotype, our culture, and something was related. The, uh, the, even that, be that uh, people, they are fearing to meet a lot of the uh, treatment or a lot of the threat from the, the people uh, did uh, such a violation. So it's hard to recover uh, the real uh, history inside in the society. But as the community, we try always uh, to, to come out what the hiding the people, the film project is uh, doing the best way. For example, our mission uh, to operate uh, like uh, uh, mobile journalism. 
Uh, I think you understand mobile journalism. Uh, we are taking the iPhones and we are recording uh, such uh, stories. We are using Tariport and always we are working uh, like uh, mobile journalism. Uh, for example, you are recording uh, the, the video with uh, no one can understand if you are a journalist or not, because when it comes uh, the event, a lot of the people come and um, everyone has an iPhone, everyone has a phone and come and, and bringing and using uh, his phone. It's the, this one is the iPhone. We are trying to record a lot of the videos when we are going to the outside of the community. Now I put in a lot of the videos inside because uh, I do already some videos in the, uh, this iPhone. We are using always a mobile as a camera because we wanted to work as a mobile journalism, yeah. Okay. Um, you know, like you mentioned, doing reporting, journalism, you know, field work is a challenge. And um, according to Reporters Without Borders, which publishes its press freedom index every year, they said Somalia continues to be Africa's most dangerous country for media personnel, with six more journalists killed since 2019, bringing the total kill since 2010 to more than 50. Of course, political violence and corruption undermines the freedom to inform and inform correctly, inform fact-based news in Somalia. Tell us a little about the situation, the political situation in country why does it make it so dangerous? What's what's going on on the ground? What uh, happens to uh, journalists? Uh, it's very difficult. I told you before, uh, when you are a journalist, always you want to, to, to talk the people and also you like uh, uh, to tell what they want. So as a community, we tried, uh, especially as a journalist, mm -hmm. we are trying fast to protect our life. Uh, I know, uh, uh, I lost a lot of the journalists I know. The political situation is the most problem is uh, have faced uh, in our journalists. For example, when it comes to the election of the MBs or the election of the uh, member of the parliament, Somalia journalists have faced a lot of the problem. For example, the last election about the parliamentary of the Somalia had a lot of the challenges. Some of the journalists uh, had uh, Surgeries, uh, the authorities, special uh, national intelligence, while others uh, refuse to get the information. When you go the place, uh, going to the election, uh, you can access to enter the inside. The the the, the gate keys and soldiers keeping the security of the election, refusing to reportage or you are covered what is going on inside of the hall. Uh, some of the journalists call it the, the, the state members and, and, and tell him to stop uh, what they are broadcasting the people and order it uh, to stop uh, releasing something was related to the, the election. Uh, some of the journalists making a lot of the, the, the treat for some of what they publish at their own Facebook and also the, the, the media has working. Coming back to Billan, the network is set to create an opportunity for female journalists to work freely without harassment and editorial censorship. Uh, the key focus being that they are free to work without harassment and editorial censorship. Tell us what really goes on in newsrooms. What are the challenges women are facing? Of course, these are very universal issues which women face across different countries, across in different newsrooms. But just to get a sense of what it is that happens in newsrooms in Somalia that made you so passionate or uh, made you so... Um, uh, focused on creating a newsroom which would be an all women media outlet run by a women's team as well yeah uh, in the newsroom maybe sometimes it happening uh, some problems for example uh, when you are a female journalist and work with the male sometimes you can get a lot of the treatment a lot of the treats uh, that side uh, but uh, if you are the professional journalist, you are trying uh, to skip to or to solve a lot of the problems. In my experience, I have been working inside of the media last two or three years. Uh, sometimes is, uh, I saw uh, the treatise from the, the male journalist. Uh, 
because uh, uh, last three years uh, I become the director of the one of the private radio in Mogadishu, Somalia. Uh, while before three years ago, I had uh, a producer and also I'm the head of the production for one of the private radio. Uh, the production areas is the very, very uh, huge uh, work uh, uh, is you, you produce in a lot of the story, for example, baggages, interviews, and something was related to the information. I saw so many uh, women, female journalists to make that the problem is, but in my, in, in myself, I didn't make uh, uh, such problems because I'm the stronger than, than the male. I am trying every single day to produce a successful story. Uh, I'm the leading uh, a lot of the people. That's why they are fearing. When you are a soft person or you are a weak person and you don't know well uh, uh, education and well preparing, the, fem the male journalists are trying to ignore with you, to minimize you, they are insulting you. Yeah, because they are, ma they are male and they seem like they are uh, the big and has a lot of the power, they minimize you, what you are. But uh, uh, me, I created uh, me and other two guys, uh, I mean the two uh, female journalists, they uh, have created our initiative called uh, Somali Women Journalist Organization, uh, have registered more than uh, 100 journalists work in uh, different areas in Somalia, included five state uh, members in Somalia and also the capital city of Somalia, Magdisho. Uh, that uh, organization uh, making a lot of the environment, uh, uh, create, uh, doing a lot of the training uh, to rise up the, the capacity of the female journalists. Uh, we did last six years uh, more than uh, 100 trainings and benefited uh, at least the uh, 1,000 female journalists. After we did a lot of the trainings, we got a lot of the female journalists part of the decision makers for the media houses because the female journalists they shared us the challenges have facing uh, and then we gave him a lot of the the, the, the solve a lot of the problem and we we give a lot of the solutions the finally uh, to eliminate the harassment from side of the male journalists and try to be part of the leading of the media Got it. Um, since we're running out of time, I have my very last two questions. The first being, tell uh -huh. us a little about the kind of content Bilan would be covering. Tell us a little about your team. Who are these amazing women who have joined Bilan and will be working? And my last question is, how does it feel to lead and launch an all women run news outlet? It's a dream come true for you. It's a dream come true for all of us who hear that there is a media outlet in another part of the world, which is run by women. So more power to you for that. But tell us, how do you feel about that? And what do you hope to achieve? Uh, the contact is will be uh, good because we are always trying to put our effort to the film project. We are planning to produce every single month at least the five or six hot story and useful and needed the society. We will address the sensitive story. We are speaking voiceless to people because we are the voice of the voiceless people. Our contact to always is very important because we don't need more story, but we are looking for the quality. We don't need quantity, but we are looking for the quality always. Our mission to get the quality story. The second time, this is the good dream. I was dreaming one day to see uh, the only production uh, work is the, the, the female journalist from different side of the media and different media houses. I was dreaming one day, it's my dream. Still, I hope to reach the media. We are hoping after, we hope after the, the near future to get the media called Billion Media. Now is the only production. We are planning to produce six or five uh, new, uh, five story. It's very, very, very organized. The contact is good and all the information the people uh, want is to inside of the story. Uh, really, we have a good hope 
we hope villain to become or to change the near future the media quality villain uh, in not only Somalia, even all the world, especially everywhere in the journalists. This is very, very, very uh, important program. This is the new initiative in Somalia. There is not before this initiative in this our country. I wanted to put my effort and experience in this project. I hope this project to be successful, the near future, because this one is the test. We have the one year test. After one year, we, we, we hope to spring uh, our, 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 our project and to get another uh, new donors to provide a lot of the money because we wanted to continue such uh, initiative uh, we didn't see before. Yeah. All right. So on that note, thank you so much, Nasreen. Lovely talking to you and many congratulations on making your dream come true. It feels amazing to know that, um, you know, there is an outlet which is run and produced and uh, controlled by women, which is such a rare uh, thing to see in a news industry. But uh, congratulations. And I'm truly grateful that you were able to come on the Sanya Faruqi show. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome, my darling. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Bye. And for those of you who've joined in, thank you so much for watching. I hope you will subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Spotify. I'm going to be seeing you again next week, so stay tuned.